on a trip again I know I don't do this often I don't usually like to do things like this but we got I think it's four uh, 3940 Ford convertibles uh, we're gonna be selling we're selling it for a friend um, so we're gonna go down there check them out He's apparently got some cars some parts uh, so we're gonna try to hustle this stuff uh, so if you are in the market for a 3940 Ford convertible this video is for you Alright guys, I'm here at my friend's place and he has got some cool cars for sale. I'm going to show you guys what we got here. Um, first thing we got is 39 Ford Deluxe convertible. So, you have the original plathead and transmission. It's probably stuck, uh, but everything's all there. It's a California car. It The thing is straight, man. This really nothing wrong with it other than the floor which I'll show you in a bit let's put this down here all right there we go sorry about that uh, there it is man just need some loving need some uh, need some lubrication it's got 40 Ford wheels obviously juice brakes it's a 39 um, didn't have these wheels on it originally he put these on because they were all flat um, running boards are there you know, seat obviously needs some work. Most of the floor is okay. Just back here, must have had it stored. Uh, it was stored inside, but it must have been a leaky roof or something. Top is not there, but the top irons are there. Uh, most of the wood is there. The back bows here. Uh, some of the front is here. Uh, you know, seats all there. Just needs to be reupholstered. It's got the banjo steering wheel that needs to be refinished, but the the main guts are here and nice, like the chrome's not flaking off of the uh, these pieces here. Gauges look all right, you know. Dash clock it obviously doesn't work, but everything is here. Uh, Thirty nine convertible last year of the rumble seat which surprisingly the back is in good condition uh, bottom not so much Let's see better look at the floors there but everything else on this car man it's awesome the back's not all dented up and damaged uh, it's got really good bones on this car so if somebody is interested in this or in any of the cars that I am showing in this video, send me a message. Whoops, just tripped on a transmission. Send me a message or send me an email. I'll drop it down right here and uh, I'll get you in contact or we'll talk about things because it's me and Chris selling these. So it's kind of dealing with me, he's dealing with him. So. Um, we're going to get to that other 39 in a minute, but first off, we also got this beautiful 36 slantback sedan. Uh, just a great original car. Got the accessory garnish moldings here. You know, a little bit of damage here, but overall, I wish I had a light. I'll ask him for a light. I'll use my phone for now. Uh... Nice waterfall. This is a standard. Uh, everything works, runs fine. You know, back seat probably needs to be upholstered. But man, everything's there. Good family cruiser. And just go to the Carrillo's customers website, get the lowering kit for these things make it sit right just cruise it man all right
right, you got original 21 stud in here. Uh, like I said, the thing just runs like a top. Nothing really wrong with this car at all. Grill's nice, front end's no damage. Uh, it does not have the 36 lenses in here, which I think someone might have done a uh, seal beam conversion on this. You can always change that out. Paint, old lacquer paint, I believe. Shines pretty good. You could probably hit it with a buffer and make it look even nicer. Um, yeah, man. Cool stuff. Nice, original car. All right. Now to the other 39. So this one, I'm kind of going down the list from nicest to not nicest. Um, this one here, the body's nice. Nothing really wrong with the body. Might need a few patches here and there, but overall, it's really nice. Um, this car does not have a floor in it or a firewall, but it's got pretty much everything else. It's got the top irons, the windows are in it because that's another hard thing to find if you're piecing one of these cars together. Uh, he has a dash for it, he can include. Uh, it has an old rear end in it, so this was probably a hot rod at some point, and then someone ripped the motor trans out for something else, I assume. Can't get the rumble lid open, I just assume there's some kind of uh, cable linkage back there, but got the package tray in the way right now, so we can't really open that up. Um, but seems like a good piece. It's not rotted down here. It's a dent here, but you know, a couple dents along the bottom, but it's not rotted. So it's, I know it's a good lid. Rock around the front here. It's got some windows in the way, but we'll just pull this out. Good bumper. Grill needs a little bit of work. I think the trim pieces are just loose. Might be a little bit of damage down there, but it doesn't look terrible. Yeah, this side of the car, same story. Pretty nice. Wouldn't complain about any of that. And it's even got this uh, trim in here for your windows, which is actually pretty hard to find if you're looking. My neck's getting cold. All right, so here we get another 39, I believe. Yeah, 39 roller. Nothing in it, as you can see. He does have front sheet metal. He's got rear fenders right here. Top irons again. Hard things to come by when you're trying to build these cars, especially in these conditions. You cannot find the top irons. Good deck lid rumble lid not attached to the hinges but it's all there it's really nice actually 
Floor's decent back here. That, that plug-in fan probably comes with it. You can have that. Seats here. Floor needs some work, but it's not terrible. You could probably patch it. It's got a good firewall in it. Again, got the stainless or around the windows. Hard piece to find. You can't buy these. Doors are nice. Look at the bottom of that door. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't know if it's got a bunch of paint on there or what. It doesn't look bad. Quarter needs some, some work, but the rest of it's pretty straight. Oh yeah, it's not. Oh yeah, look at the door gap right there. It's perfect. Everything flows nicely. Back's a little damaged, but luckily they do sell that replacement. Same thing on this side. Look at the way the door just flows into the quarter. You know, this has not been in any wrecks. This is a good car. And we also got this crown jewel here. This is a 40 deluxe convertible. Never been off the frame. Perfect car. Again, if you want any info on this, shoot me an email. We can talk about it. Give you more info. Try to get the door open here. Woo! Man, look at that. I'll have to get some more pictures of this car in the light. Just a great car. I'll try to get some pictures of this and uh, maybe drop it in the in the video. Right now, it's, the trailer's locked in. We can't take it out. Alright, so I just left Chris's house, no, well, Chris's garage, uh, shop At the thing. Next light, take a slight left turn. And uh, heading back with the Rosa pickup seat in the back. Uh, Kobe, he was nice enough to get the seats from the upholster, Kobe. And, uh, you know, I could just pay Chris and he would pay Kobe. So I didn't have to do some running around. I just went there, grabbed the seats, checked out those cars. The light. And I think, honestly, uh, both of the the main 39 convertibles out of there are pretty much sold right now I got I'm talking to a couple guys right now one guy wants to buy the pair so kind of navigating that right now by the time this well actually I post every day so it, it might not be sold by the time it's posted up but it's probably gonna be soon so if you want these cars any of them act on them soon email me the emails right here um, get in contact with me quick because these are going to go quick they are price right price to sell uh, so hit me up let's get these things sold um, so with those two two main cars in the building and you saw another one outside uh, it was just a roller he's got fenders for that he's got a top for that he's obviously you saw the deck lid was nice he has another body that he can pretty much vice grip together uh, should be a floor with that that rear section that was inside I think I took a clip of that um, he's got nice doors a nice deck lid he's got a nice cowl he's got some nice things to put that together that might even be nicer than the one that's on his uh, his wrecker body so we'll see he's gonna get me pictures of those uh, later because they were at a different storage unit which is like an hour away and just with the time we couldn't fit that in he had things going on in his shop so we couldn't do that but he says got really nice parts and storage so he's gonna send me pictures and I'll hopefully 
Yeah, there will either be on my social media or I'll make another video about it. Uh, but yeah, heading back home now. Uh, get some work done on the Model A tonight. You'll probably see that in tomorrow's video though. So thanks for coming along with me. I know this was a short one today, but pretty cool cars. It's always nice to uh, see cars like that in that condition, just surviving all these years. Um, cool guys, catch you tomorrow. All right, I can't end the video here because I forgot I have my seat. So let's get that in the car quickly, uh, you know, so I can show you guys. You saw a sneak peek in the garage, but I'm not, not going to put it in. I guess one at a time. I got camera hands. <clears throat> I know the closed garage is not the best, but I do what I can. Let's try to get you stood up here so I don't have to hold this thing. Can you guys see okay? Oh, yeah. Perfect. This out of here. Okay. No longer have to use moving blankets anymore. That's so nice. And this ugly pinkish thing <clears throat> onto the next car with no interior. All right. One, two. Moving blankets. Three. Ah. Out of here. Next, you take the extra lumber out. I don't need to be in. Wow. Okay, it's a long time coming here. I've been waiting for this for a while. I don't know which side panel goes where. Well, that's probably this. Okay, that ain't bad. Okay. Ugh. The bottom. Oh, dude. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to keep it, keep it there. Oh, dude, this is so nice, so nice. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. 
I've never had anything this nice. It's a mile away. Jeez. Look at that, baby. Holy crap. This is really nice. I know it's not really bolted in, but let me try and sit on it anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> But it's pretty much, pretty much the same. Oh my gosh, yes! <sighs> this makes this truck. Makes it, dude. Wow. Okay. Shoot! Check that out, baby. I'm like stunned. This is so nice. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. I don't like to like make things a big deal, but today is my birthday, December 6th. And this is like the best present I've had in so long. And I paid for it myself, which is usually the case. But to have it done and like here for me on my birthday, oh my God. Dude, yeah, I just need to make <clears throat> some kind of thing that'll like clip in. So when I push the seat in and down, it just locks this bottom into place. But other than that, things. <sighs> and I guess I need to screw these side panels in, which literally I think I'm just going to take those screws that come with the interior kit with those little washers that I actually used on the floor. And, uh, Put two screws in, one in the top corner, one in the middle-ish, that'll be it. <clears throat> wow. Man. I don't know how well you can, oh my God, perfect lighting. Look at that seat, dude. Look at that seat. So this is a real old leather couch that Colby took and upholstered it into a seat. So he put the wear spots on like where your butt would be. He's a genius. This is a new seat, but old leather. Like you would think this seat was been in this car for years. I'm just floored. This is so amazing. Even like the wear on the piping here, right on the corner where I'd be getting in and out all the time, it's worn already. Perfect, dude. Oh my God. It's amazing. All right, so this is the actual end of this video. Um, appreciate you guys watching. It's been a great day. Uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get some work done.